Hi there, Virgo. Let's see what's going on for your March 2024. If you haven't noticed, I have brought back not just these monthlies, but daily angel messages. And if you are just arriving for the very first time, I am an angel medium. For these, I will be using cards. But yeah, that's what we do. We bring in angel and archangelic energy. So let's focus on Virgos. What do you need to know? Okay. There's definitely a feeling of like, I just want to unplug. Everybody leaves me alone. Let me adjust to what just happened. That's what it is. So this makes me feel like something big pops off. <laughs> and you need to retreat a little bit to figure out. Basically, it, it's emotions. It's like trying to like catch up with the opportunity. Knight of Michael. Nine of Michael. We'll talk about it. Eight of Michael. Are we kidding? Okay. <laughs> Stop it. Ace of Michael. How many do we have for you? One, two. Th wait, how many? One, two, three, four. Let's get one more. Okay. We got Ariel. Dang. Okay. Here's how you're making your life worse for yourself. You're not trusting yourself very much. You are faced with something brand new. This almost feels like you don't want to commit <laughs> to something. That's the energy that's coming through. So here's the night of Michael. So something has occurred. That's the night of Michael there. Here's all the other ones in the spread. ASMR, baby. Wait. I think that stuff's annoying. But hey, if you like it, there you go. The Knight of Michael comes in and tells us like, hey, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to take a chance and I'm going to explore something new, which may feel a little out of character for you. Okay. This says a strong, committed, intellectual, diligent, time to move quickly, choose logic over emotion, sudden changes. Here's the deal. This is why I, I think when we started off, I felt like you almost wanted to unplug and let me just sit with myself. Because I, I think you went out there and said, you know what? I'll do that. You know what? I'll apply for that job. You know what? I will ask that person out on a date. And then you're in. And then you're like, what? Wait, huh? I didn't know you were going to say yes. Hang on a minute now. <laughs> right? So you were in the fighting mood for like a second. And now you're backing off. And then we get into Nine of Michael, which says your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. This very much feels like biting off more than you can chew. Getting more than you bargained for. Okay. I keep hearing like, like I hear someone saying, I took a chance and it slapped me in the face. But it's not in a bad way. I think that's a big fear of yours. Insecurity. This is going, okay, we're going to listen to you. This is you taking your life into a whole new direction, maybe. Like you're not completely leaving the old you behind, but again, you're taking a chance and then you're like, what have I gotten myself into? If you guys have never heard me tell the story uh, about going into theater, I studied acting and directing theater the whole bit. I have a degree in it, which people love to laugh at, but I would love to see any of you go and do that degree because it was not easy. Okay. It was not easy whatsoever. But I remember being backstage of a show. I'm in the wings, right? Getting ready to make my entrance. There was one show where I was the opening actor on the stage. And I remember waiting in the wings going, why do I do this to myself? This is awful. I am so anxious right now. I, I have to go out there now. There, there are hundreds of people in that audience. Oh my gosh. Cause see, I thought I was all big and brave showing up to the audition. And then when I got it, Oh no. <laughs> and of course the mind, Michael is the intellect or he can help us with the intellect. You know, that is talking you right out of an opportunity instead of facing your fears and coming on through. When I was waiting in the wings, there was no turning back. I had to take a deep breath, settle my mind, and I had to come onto that stage with energy because I was the opening actor on the stage. I can't come out 
fearful or jittery or anything like that. The show must go on, right? So like, that's kind of the energy you have that you're dealing with here in March 2024. Again, you can treat this as timeless if you want. I, I say that in almost every video. Uh, we get into the Eight of Michael. All right. You can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation. Not seeing things clearly. Now the knight of Michael here, he's not as impulsive as the page, but he's still pretty impulsive. He says, there's a war going on. Cool. I'm in, right? He's like, let's go. <laughs> there's a battle. Okay, let's go. You know, but then you realize, oop, I, I just got myself stuck in a situation. Um, and now what do I do? Okay. So there's a feeling here that your mind has been flipping around quite a bit. Some of you may have just signed a contract of some sort and you realize now you're having second thoughts and you're realizing I can't get out of this. I want to back out. I want to take back my choices. There's a oof, big time regret here. But you don't need to be feeling that regret. So whatever it is that you are working towards, whatever, whatever you signed up for, for some of you, it was um, a recovery program. Okay. And it's hard. And you're saying, I don't know if I can do this. You can do this. Don't do that to yourself. Doubting yourself. Don't do it. For some of you, it's volunteering. I have another story. I was, well, this is a long story, but I'll spare you. But anyway, I was confirmed at an Episcopalian church, Trinity Wall Street. When I went there, I, again, it's a long story, but I ended up getting baptized by a Methodist, what are they, reverend? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. But anyway, the church that I was going to, I had promised the Methodist reverend, if it's a reverend, um, that I would devote two years of my life to any church. It didn't have to be Methodist, but I, if he baptized me, I would give uh, two years, at least two years of service to a church. I was living in New York City at the time. I was living right near Wall Street in lower Manhattan. And so I chose Trinity Wall Street. Well, that was going great until... Even though I was a full-time grad student and worked a full-time job, I, I don't know where they thought I had all this time on my hands, but they started volunteering me. I didn't volunteer. They volunteered me uh, to just go <laughs> in and do whatever. And that was one of those moments where it was like, okay, I overcommitted. I went in and said, yes, I will absolutely give two years of my life. I'm happy to do that. Oh my gosh, now I'm exhausted. Now I'm stressed. How am I going to fit all of this into my calendar? And I was trying to get out of it, but I felt guilt and shame about saying, hey, I can't handle this. I, I'm telling you guys, guys this for very good reason. I think there's some bit of that coming up where it's like, I want to be there, but I can't, okay? I, I want to show up, but I don't, there aren't enough hours in the day. You're overthinking this, Okay. Whatever is going on here, whatever step you have taken that you are now overthinking, there's going to be a beautiful outcome. You're going to figure out how to come on through. So don't give up on yourselves. Now, everyone's situation is different. I've been saying this in all the videos. If you want to work with me, angelsouls444.com for standard readings. If you want to try to get a live session with me, do that via email, angelsouls444 at gmail.com. So the live ones you would email at gmail. And the other ones would be the website. The Ace of Michael says, a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. The other thing that I'm feeling with this card is that maybe you had quite a push on a project and now it's time to get it out there. And maybe it will involve contracts or something like that. And you're getting overwhelmed by the paperwork. You're getting overwhelmed by the legalities of something. There's help there. There is help there. So if you don't, and listen, hey, yo, I like being, I'm a writer and I do social media and we have to know copyright everything. Okay. Like the legal copyrights of things. And that can be extremely overwhelming. 
Well, I sat down and I learned what I needed to learn, what I couldn't find straight answers on. I contacted an expert to make sure I had the information correct. And then my mind was at ease. That might be something that you guys are dealing with, or this could be an accountant as well. I guess it is tax time. So <laughs> there's that. Then we have five of Ariel. You needn't go through your current challenges alone. Again, if you're feeling overwhelmed by something, see who can give you some really good advice. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. There's just so much fear here. Can I handle it? Am I good enough? And yes, you are absolutely good enough. This month, well, let's, let's recap this month for you guys. <laughs> if I had to sum it up, it still is very much, why do I do this to myself? Why do I make these choices? How did I get here? <laughs> right? Because this is a month where you are being pushed beyond your typical boundaries, but not in a bad way. You're kind of being challenged, right? So again, if you're taking a new role and it's something that you're not 100% familiar with, you might feel really behind, right? As you get through the process of learning and embracing this new, uh, this new path. Some of you also might be overthinking just kind of your life in general. This is giving midlife crisis. Okay. It's, it's, have I done enough? I haven't done enough. And yet conveniently you forgot that you got through that program or you got that degree or you started that business or you have learned your lessons through many relationships. You've learned how to treat yourself better by being in bad friendships. You see what I'm saying? This is you screeching to a halt. I literally see someone like they're in a train and they've got the brake and they're like pulling back on the brake with all of their weight to stop this train because they think the train is leading them to some sort of doom when it's not. Okay. So don't be so hard on yourselves. Don't be so hard on yourselves. If you need to learn something, you are more than capable of learning it. If you're going through something right now, you will come out the other side. Of course, always check with a doctor, a therapist, someone who's licensed to help you with your specific situation. But if you want to talk about the spiritual stuff, then we can talk about that here. But please don't isolate yourself. That's that five of Ariel. Don't, don't push help away because you think you need to go through everything alone. You don't. Good things are coming through. Clarity is coming through. It's almost like rewiring your brain. That opportunity is there, probably with a therapist, okay? <laughs> so make sure you get with a the therapist, but it's okay. It's okay. You probably also are learning the lesson to not commit to things before you know you can handle it. But um, this is a big stepping stone kind of moment for you guys. Like you're in a stepping stone kind of um, place in your life and now you're moving on to something brand new. So give yourself some credit. Don't get wound up in your thoughts and get yourself trapped with, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. And I'm happy for you guys. I'm a little nervous for you too. I Well, not nervous for you. I, I can pick up on the trepidation <laughs> of moving forward and embracing something that you've really wanted. And now it's here and now you kind of don't know what to do with it. So talk to others who have been through it. Remember that you are on your own unique path, but you know, some feedback could be very valuable here. Okay. Okay. Like don't be hard on yourselves. I love you guys, but we're going to leave it there <laughs> again. Love you and take care. Bye-bye.